Hi, your face to face with Shell. I've been seeing a lot on social media um, the, the phrase being coined, it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to say no. I d truly believe these, you know, you need to look after yourself first and foremost and if you don't feel like doing something, just say no, I, I would rather not do that. And if you're having an off day, that is okay. So I want to tell you a story that happened to me. I hadn't been discharged from the hospital that long. I, I think I'd, I don't know, maybe a couple of months. So I was still attending our local hospital for physiotherapy. And at the time it was patient transport, which was an ambulance that would pick us up. So it wouldn't just pick me up, it would pick other people up as well going to hospital for different reasons. And there was one day I just honestly could not be bothered talking to anybody, even smiling at anybody. I was, wasn't was down, I just couldn't be bothered. So this woman got in the ambulance along with, she was accompanying someone else to hospital. And I sort of knew her, she was from the village and she started talking to my mum as if I wasn't there. Now, to be honest, that, that was fine by me because, as I said, I really just couldn't be bothered this day. So, I heard her saying to my mum, was her hearing affected? And my mum said, no, no, her, her hearing's absolutely fine. And then this woman turned to me and she said in a very loud and slow voice, I was just saying to your mum. And I said, yeah, I know, I heard you. <laughs> I know, <laughs> it maybe was a bit rotten, but I really couldn't be bothered. And I thought, my mum has already told you that my hearing wasn't affected. So why are you treating me like this? And that was maybe why I answered her the, the way I did. As I said, it is okay to not be okay. And it is okay to say no. And it's okay to have off days. But if you're finding that these days are getting more and more, please talk to someone. There is always someone who will listen. I do have a link and I'll put it in, sorry, I'll put a link in the description to this video. I have a website and I have a page on other help forums. I'm also involved with the Dance Fund for Burns and just the other night, I was on their live chat, which happens every Wednesday, which is for adult burn survivors. It was my first time on and it was brilliant. It's an online chat and it's a safe place for burn survivors. Just have a chat, tell them, tell each other what you're experiencing and it's a chance for other burn survivors to help you if you're going through a tough time. It, it, it was really good. I got a lot out of it. Um, it runs for an hour and a half every Wednesday. And again, I'll put links to the Dance Fund for Burns and the Adult Burn Support UK. I'll put links in the description to this video so that you can go over if you, you, you feel like you would like to visit their sites. I also have a website which has lots more information as well. So please head over there. And again, I'll put a link in the description to this video. Again, thank you so, so much for watching and a huge shout out to my sub subscribers. If you haven't already, it would really be appreciated if you subscribe to my channel. It just helps other people out there as well to to see the videos, to, to know that I'm, I'm here. Um, and also, if you hit the notification bell, it means that you don't miss any videos as well. I really, really appreciate you watching and I, I honestly appreciate your support. I'm trying to get the message out there and trying to help as many people as possible. Thank you once again for watching. Stay strong and we'll chat soon. Bye.